HNN News is brought to you by Principal Toyota. And Landers Ford. It's another morning at Houston High, home of the Mustangs and HNN News. Whether it's the locker room or the classroom, Houston News Network is there, your go-to source for all high school headlines. It's time for HNN News, the most watched newscast at Houston High School. With Jack Smith and Cameron Verner. HNN News starts now. Happy Valentine's Day, Mustangs. I'm HNN All-Star Cameron Verner. And I'm Jack Smith, and these are your morning announcements for Friday, February 14th. Houston's career field discussions continue this month. Next Friday, February 21st, you can speak with local businessman John Mark Sharp about small business ownership. There will be passes in the college and career office and guidance for any students who want to attend. Juniors and seniors, if your date to prom is not a student at Houston or Cameron Verner, you must complete a prom guest form before being able to purchase a prom ticket. The prom guest form requires your date's principal to sign and include the school stamp or the principal's business card. Forms are available from Ms. Purcell in the A201, Ms. Jones office, or on the school's website. Plan ahead so you're not scrambling at the last minute. The Houston High Mustang Theater will be presenting Into the Woods later this month in the auditorium. The show will run Friday, February 21st through Monday the 24th. Tickets are $10 for students and $15 for adults. You can pre-order your tickets online at hhstheater.brownpapertickets.com. HNN News will be right back after this quick commercial break. You could enjoy a sweet treat and help raise money for the Houston Choir. All this week, various chocolates will be sold in the lobby before school and during all lunches, with a special variety available on Friday for Valentine's Day. Welcome back. Now here's Houston student Trinity Henderson with today's Black History Month icon to remember. Rebecca Lee Crumpler was born in 1831 and by 1852 she worked as a nurse without any formal training. She was the only African American woman to graduate from the New England Medical College and the first African American woman to earn an MD degree. She later went on to be a tremendous help caring for freed slaves and working with the Freedmen's Bureau despite the intense racism black physicians endured working in the purse working in the post-war South. Her book, Book of Medical Discourses, is one of the very first medical publications by an African American. Thank you, Rebecca Lee Crumplin. Now it's time for the HNN News Word Power Word of the Day. Today's Word of the Day is aggrandize, a verb meaning to increase or make greater. As in, Joseph always mentioned the nicknames of his famous friends as a way to aggrandize his personal standing and reputation. Try using it today. Students and teachers, will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Now in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, we'll observe a moment of silence. Well, that's it for this week, Mustangs. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you bright and early Tuesday. Oh, oh, oh.